Welcome back to Ta-da! 3D Printing. I had posted recently my struggle with getting a temp tower to work on the Prusa XL. The reason that I wanted the temp tower is because Prusa support had recommended that to help with the stringing to kind of dial in my filament. And I had sliced the print myself. I thought I put in the correct code. I did want multiple colors. In fact, I tried to do all five colors and it just didn't end up working out. Nothing ever changed on the temperature. So Surf Alex 2000 reached out to me and told me that he had come up with a new um, G-code, 3MF file, multiple things for testing out the temp tower on the Prusa XL with two tool heads at a time. At first, I was kind of just stuck on wanting to do all five tools, all five colors at once. And then I realized that's not really the issue. I didn't want to print one color at a time because the issue is the tool changing. But as long as I'm doing more than one, that's all I really need. So I downloaded the G code because I decided that I wanted to do exactly what he had keyed in. I didn't want any mess ups or changes from maybe my slicer or some of the settings with that. I am running the Alpha 2 um, of the firmware and I did just download the most recent slicer as well. So I got this running and I decided to run it with my Overture because that's what I use for everything and just PLA and I'm going to do white and black because I feel like that's going to show the most contrast and hopefully we can see if there's any weird bleeding or anything else too. This is a long print. It's over seven hours and the main reason that it is such a long print and it is like super tall is because it's not just making increments of, I think most of them are like five degrees. This one is actually going to be doing increments of one degrees. So you can really dial in the exact temperature that you need and it's going to be changing the color every 0.2 millimeters. So it's gonna be having a lot of color changes really rapidly. And this printed really well. I did check on it many times and made sure that it was changing the temperature. This is at 189, so of course that's not something I ever would have keyed in. So it is right on track with doing each individual degree. Okay, I'm really anxious to see if the stringing has improved and I can raise my temperatures a little bit with these newer slicers, newer firmware, everything's updated. And I am shocked to see that yes, it does have less stringing in certain, certain temperatures, but it's like right at 190, 189 or so, which is what I've been printing at. Um, I've been starting my prints at 190 and then dropping them to 180. And I have gotten a lot of comments that that's going to be really like hard on my extruder. Um, but that to me looks the best. I mean, let me know what you think. Do you feel like these higher temperatures? I mean, I'd see the least amount of stringing at those lower temperatures. Um, I'm kind of surprised because like I've said with my single tool head, I'm running it at 210, but on these, on this color change, the, the multiple tool heads, I'm really having to run cooler temps. So let me know what you think. Let me know what temperature you've been running, what slicer you're using, and check out this temp tower if you need to dial it in. Thanks for watching.